Here I want to show you how you can insert and or link data from Excel into your document. For example, in my Excel workbook it contains a bunch of data for my monthly sales that I want to pull into my document here and also link to it. So if anybody makes any changes to that Excel workbook, it'll automatically update and reflect those changes over here in my document. Sound totally tinsel? I knew it would. So before I go ahead and insert the contents of my Excel workbook into the document here, let's see what we're inserting. So let's come up here and minimize this down to the taskbar so I can see my desktop. There's the document that we're in that I minimized. And adjacent to it is the Excel workbook that contains the data that I want to insert into my document. So let's double click to open it up. And there it is in the upper left hand corner, my essential oils monthly sales. Now we're going to insert it as an object first. And when you do it this way, you want to make sure that when you insert it, that whatever you want to pull in from Excel is the first worksheet in the workbook, because that's the only sheet it'll pull over. So sheet one's the first worksheet. I'm good with that. And if not, then you want to move it so it's the first worksheet. And then second of all, you want to make sure that there's nothing else within that worksheet because it will pull everything. So if I have something down below, like in column J, row 20, it'll pull everything from A1 down to J20. You see what I'm saying? So just keep it simple here. In any case, let's go ahead and take it for a test drive, close out of here, restore my document, and then come up here, click on the Insert tab, and go to the text group, and there you go. To insert it as an object or embed the object, such as another Word document or an Excel chart, or in this case, an Excel spreadsheet or our mini database within the spreadsheet. You can also click on the corresponding drop down arrow. You get the same thing, the object, but you can also insert text from a file. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if you have another document that you want to insert all the text into your document here, instead of opening up that other document and copying and pasting it, you can just go ahead and click on this. It opens up the window, select your document, click on insert, and voila, pulls in everything from that document. So let's come back up here, having said that, and click on object, so we can insert Excel as an object. And we want to create this from the file, and the file is on the desktop, so let's go ahead and click on browse to find it. There's my desktop, and it's right there. You can just go ahead and double click on it. And you can see down below, it'll insert the contents of your file in the document. So you can edit it later using the application which created the source file. But I also want to link to it so it updates it. And it shows you any changes made in the source file will automatically reflect over in the document here. So let's go ahead and click okie dokie. Looks good. Now I left the last row, the month of June, empty. So when we open up our workbook, Let's go ahead and right click on the Excel program to get the jump list and open up linking to Excel. There we go. That when we come in here and we make some changes, let's go ahead and update by adding some numbers here. Okay. Let's go ahead and click save and then go back to our document. Now it doesn't automatically update if the document's already open. So you have to kind of give it a nudge. So you can go ahead and right click anywhere on the table there because when you insert a spreadsheet into Word, it's now a table. And in the shortcut menu, you can update the link. Oh, that's fabulous. Click on update. And it actually pulled in some extra space. So I might have added like a space down below in this column, that row. So you want to keep that in mind. So it inserts everything in any case. I may want to go back and clean it up a bit, or you can come over here and try the resizing handles, but then it shrinks everything, so that's probably not a good idea. So let's try something now. I'm going to go ahead and save this and close out of it. So after I close out of it, let's do some updates. In fact, let's just go back to removing all the numbers and say, oh, I changed my mind, and click Save, and then close out of Excel. So we're back to our desktop. Now let's go ahead and open up the document that's now linked to the Excel workbook. Double click. And it gives you a pop-up that says the document contains links that may refer to other files. Do you want to update this document with the data from the link files? If you say yes, then let me click and drag the title bar out of the way. It'll update and clear this out. If you say no, it leaves it as is. In which case, let's close out. We don't want to save it. Well, you can go ahead and save it if you like, and then double click again. 
and it reminds us we're still linked. Okay, fine, go ahead and yes, update it. Oh, it actually collapsed back in on itself. That's fabulous. So you can see that there's nothing in June reflecting exactly what we did in the Excel workbook. Sweet. And then if you want to make changes to it, guess what? You can right-click anywhere on the table and go down to Linked Worksheet Object, and you can either edit or open the link. It does the same thing. So edit opens up the Excel workbook. Let's close out. Or you can right-click Linked Worksheet Object to open opens up the same thing. And then you can go ahead and make your changes. One, two, three. Pretty simple, right? Let's go ahead and click Save and close out. Cool. And of course, if it doesn't automatically update, you can right click and update. And then you can also right click if you'd like and go to Linked Worksheet Object and go down to Links. Opens up the window and it says it's linking to, and you can see down below the source file, the address from the hard drive, the C drive, the user that's logged in as training on the desktop, and that's the name of the file. Now, if somebody takes that file and moves it into another folder so it's not on the desktop, it'll be broken. So, if the link's broken, it'll either prompt you when you open it up saying, uh, We can't find this, can you please find it for us? Or you can come in here and go ahead and click on Change Source, which brings up a good point to go ahead and find. If you want to change it and link to another Excel workbook that has something else, and then just go ahead and select it, click open, and it'll now point to that source. And so if the source has been moved into another folder, click change source, find it in that folder, select it, and it will be linked to it. And then finally, if you want to break the link and say, no, you know what, I just want the snapshot in time. I don't want a continuous update. And we'll say, yes, we want to break it. And now it's just a... Picture, picture. It's not a table, although it looks like a table. But you can see up here, when you select it now, you get the related format tab for picture tools, so it sees it as a picture. So you can't click into it to make any changes. So when you right click on it, you don't get the update link. And we'll just go ahead and hit the delete key and do it another way. So you can insert it as an object if you'd like, or let's go ahead and right click on the Excel shortcut on the taskbar to the program and go back to our most recent Excel workbook linking to Excel and let's select the range that we want to include so this may be more beneficial to you if you have a lot of information scattered throughout sheet one and you don't want to pull in everything but you want to be selective well go ahead and select it and then control C to copy and then go back to the document and when it comes to pasting, well, you know, Control-V is in Victor to paste, and then you get the little smart tag. So it says after you paste it, what do you want to do? Click on the Paste Options. Right now, it's not linked, but if you want it linked, then you can come over here and you see the link there. So you got two link options, that little link in the chain that says you can link and keep the source formatting, or you can link and use the destination style. So whatever current style theme in this document is, well, that's what it's going to be. So you choose, let's go ahead and use Link Destination. There we go. So now that it's linked, you can go ahead and right click and you can update the link. And also again, you can edit the link, open up the link. Let's edit, opens it up. And then of course you can go ahead and make your changes. You get the marching ants because it still thinks it's in copy mode. Well, you learned that in my Excel training video. If it annoys you, hit the escape key and it clears them out. And so if I delete, 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 and I go back to my document. Cool. It's got it updated. And of course, I can go ahead and type in whatever I want. But if I do that and I click Save, it doesn't go back the other way. So if I go back to my Excel workbook, you see it doesn't go back. And so if I go back to my document and I right click to do an update, it clears it out. So you can go do something temporary there and then just know when you want to update it. Or when you close out of the document, open it back up, prompts you for the update, you can say yes. And not only that, but you actually get, when you click inside of it, your table tools, so it sees it as a table. Of course, you can hover over the bottom right-hand corner, get resizing handles, click and drag. You know, you can just do so much more here. Well, let's go ahead and right-click on the tag here and delete the table. And let's do it one more time. We can insert it as an object again when you copy and paste. If you want to insert it as an object, you don't want to come up here, click on the Insert tab and go to the text box and click on Object. 
Let's go back to the Home tab. Let's come over here to the workbook. Again, click and drag to select. Control C to copy. And go back to the document. And then this time, up here on the Home tab, you can click on the Paste drop down arrow and do something special. Paste special, click on it. And there you go. You can go ahead and paste it here or do a paste link and select Microsoft Excel Worksheet Object. So, okie dokie. And of course, you can go ahead and select it because it's linked. You can right click and, well, we went through this, so cool. Let's go ahead and delete that and do Paste Special again. And we'll paste the link as an Excel object, but this time let's display it as an icon. And you can change the icon if you don't want it as a generic Excel workbook icon. In any case, click okie dokie. How does that work? Well, if you're going through your document and you want to just be able to reference it and not actually see everything, you can right click on it and go down to link worksheet. So it's like a link. You can go ahead and open it up and then go, oh, that's nice. You know, it's a reference, something that you can actually not display within the workbook, the entire worksheet, but has a nice link that you can right click and go ahead and open up the Excel workbook outside of Word here. And of course, you can go ahead and resize that. Doesn't matter. You can still right click and get that option to edit or open up to view the contents they're in. So you can say, oh, monthly sales. You don't have this big, huge spreadsheet if you have a lot of information there that you like to keep track of, but you got a simple link. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.